In this question, it says triangles ABD, CBD, and ADC are all isocellus. Find the angle X. So this is the diagram that's given in the question. And these are the enlarged versions. We can solve this in three different ways. I will start with the one which is the easiest. So in triangle ABD, before we continue, let me again tell you that ABD is this, uh, this triangle, ABD. CBD is this particular triangle and ADC is the bigger triangle where for the triangle ABD, AB is equal to BD. And for the triangle BCD, uh, CD is equal to BD. And for the bigger triangle, AC is equal to AD. AC is equal to AD. So all these three triangles are isosceles. Now in triangle ABD, ABD, BAD is equal to BAD. BDA. BAD equals to BDA. BAD is equal to BDA. Because we know that the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal because uh, angles of the opposite sides which are equal has to be equal as well. So if this is x, this will be x as well. And CBD, CB, uh, sorry, CBD is equal to BAD plus BDA. The reason is exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles. This angle is equal to sum of these two. This is the straight line and this is an exterior angle for this particular triangle. This angle is an exterior angle. So exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles. So these are the opposite angles and their sum is, if this is x and this is x, then their sum is 2x. In triangle DBC, DBC, CBD is equal to DCB. CBD is equal to DCB. So if this is 2x, this is also 2x because these two sides are equal. And this is a isosceles triangle. In triangle ACD, the bigger triangle ACD, AC is equal to AD. AC is equal to AD. That means ACD equals to ADC. ACD is equal to ADC. So if ACD is equal to ADC, that means if this is 2x, this will also be 2x, the whole thing. So from triangle ACD, let's just consider the bigger triangle. We can say that ACD plus ADC plus CAD, which is this, this, and this. If we add them all up, we can get 180 degree because we know that the sum of uh, interior angles of a triangle is 180. That means 2x plus 2x plus x gives us 180 or 5x is 180 which gives us the value for x which is 36 degree. That's one way of solving by using the option which is exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles. Now the second option could be if you can't remember this particular reasoning then you can think of let's say if this is x and this is x then this one for the triangle ABD will be 180 minus 2x. ABD you can say ABD is 180 minus 2x. So CBD CBD will be 180 minus 180 minus 2x. The reason is if CBA is a straight line then this whole thing is 180. So this angle has to be 180 minus this. So 180 is the angle for the straight line CBA minus the angle which we got here, which was ABD. That will again give us the value for CBD, which is 2x. And then you can continue using this method. If this is 2x, that's 2x as well for the triangle BCD. For the triangle ACD, if this is 2x, this will also be 2x as we know that AC is equal to AD. And then you can solve this by using this method. The third option could be, if you consider 
two va two variables so if this is x which is already given this has to be x as abd is an isosceles triangle and if this is y this will also be y as that is an uh, isosceles triangle as well which is bcd triangle bcd so 2y that's uh, yeah so y plus y plus x if this is y and this is y then this angle will also be y because if we consider this to be y then this one is y because triangle bcd is isosceles and if this is y then since acd is a isosceles triangle as well which is the bigger triangle then this will also be have to y so y plus y plus x gives us 180 2y plus x is equal to 180 y becomes 180 minus x by 2 that's one equation which you can save and then you can move on considering the triangle abd abd in triangle abd x plus x plus this will be if the whole thing is 180 and this is y then this will be 180 minus y so x plus x plus 180 minus y equals to the sum of interior triangles of a uh, sum of the interior triangles of a uh, interior angles of a triangle which is 180 so that uh, if we simplify this one then this becomes 2x plus uh, minus y because plus 180 and uh, if you bring this over here that it becomes minus 180 so they cancel out each other that leaves us with only 2x minus y so 2x minus y is equal to 0 or you can substitute for the value of y which is this 2x is uh, 2x minus 180 minus x by 2 then you simplify this you get the value 4x minus 180 plus x equals to 0 or 5x equals to 180 that gives us the value for x again which is the same 36